so our today's topic of discussion is six sigma what is six sigma six sigma basically a japanese term a japanese process a method a set of techniques so i'm te- i'm telling again six sigma is a set of techniques or tools for process improvement for improving a process six sigma method seek to improve the quality what does it try six sigma tries to improve quality of the product for the output from the for uh, improve the quality of the output of a process how by identifying by identifying and removing the causes of defects it tries to six sigma identifies and removes the causes of defects and minimize the variations what does it do it, it minimizes the variations in manufacturing and business process it minimizes the vari- variability in manufacturing and business process so six sigma is a continuous effort a continuous effort to achieve a stable and predictable process result what does it try it try to achieve a stable result a stable result a predictable result i'll try to do it that is my prediction and i'll do it using the six sigma so six sigma is a continuous effort it it keeps on trying how by reducing process variations it it tries to reduce variations it tries to uh, remove the variations it tries to remove the variances that's all so manufacturing and business processes have characteristics so six sigma says that a um, uh, manufacturing and business process have characteristics that can be defined a uh, uh, manufacturing characteristics that can be first defined then measured then analyzed improved and controlled it will be discussed uh, a little but a little bit later so six sigma uh, six sigma aims in achieving sustained quality improvement what does what is the objective of six sigma six sigma tries to achieve sustained quality improvement so it requires commitment from the manager uh, particularly from top level management from the organization it requires commitment from the entire organization each and every one of the organization needs to help uh, to achieve sustained quality improvement because uh, it tries to improve a process so in a process there are many there are many are involved so it needs it requires commitment from all of the employees all of the level including and especially the top level management so six sigma features that um, six sigma apart from the previous quality improvement uh, th- there are some features there are some features mm-hmm. that that make six sigma special from the previous quality improvement initiatives there were so many previous qual- um, qu- there were so many quality initiatives previously six sigma has some features which make it d- different from others so six sigma is a clear focus six sigma is a clear focus on achieving measurable and quantifiable financial returns from any six sigma projects so six sigma is basically a project from which it try to achieve something that is some return that is quantifiable and measurable then it gives emphasis on a strong and passionate management leadership six sigma emphasis on a strong and passionate management leadership so it is a clear commitment to making decisions on the basis of so what is what does six sigma says it is a clear commitment to making decisions on the basis of verifiable data and a statistical method rather than assumptions and guesswork so it is not a six sigma is not a guesswork six sigma is not something anticipating six sigma is not something thinking and doing six sigma is statistical method it it consists of calculations so it's not that i'm not discussing that much uh, detail now so we also know a term that is lean management six sigma and lean management sounds same but uh, there is slight difference so what is lean management lean management is focused lean management is focused on eliminating waste so lean management focuses on eliminating waste using the set of proven standardized tools and methodology so lean management uses some methodology to eliminate waste then what is six sigma six sigma focuses on eliminating defects and reducing variations uh, lean management focuses on eliminating waste but six sigma 
also focus on eliminating defects and reducing variations. So both systems are driven by data. Lean management is also driven by data, not on anticipation, not on guesswork, not on just thinking, not on just um, just forecasting something. Uh, it is uh, uh, both are lean management and Six Sigma both are driven by data. Six Sigma is much more dependent on accurate data. The only most most of the basic difference is the most basic difference is Six Sigma is dependent much more on accurate data, accurate data. So Six Sigma projects follows uh, DMake methods. So what is DMake? DMake methodology has five phases. DMAI stands for five phases. The first phase of the uh, DMake steps is define. So what to define? Define the system. Define the system. Uh, define the goals. Especially, uh, what is the customer's requirement? Define customer requirement. Define the organization's goal. Define the customer customer requirement so six sigma emphasis on voice of the customers and requirement of the customers this is the first steps define then m m for measure so what does it measure it measures key specs of the current process it measures key specs of the current process so what does it do it it measures current process and collect relevant data so it uh, in measurement is in measurement phase it collects data so then also uh, then it consists of it consists some calculations i'm not discussing it again so then the next step dma a for analyze what does it analyze in major in major stage it collected data so in analyze stage it will analyze the data why to investigate and verify cause and effect relationship so cause and effect relationship will be analyzed using the data collected in major steps so it determines what the relationship are and it attempts to it tries to ensure that all factors have been considered all factors have been considered it seek out it find out it tries to identify what is the root cause of the defect under investigation so it tries to identify any defects it tries to identify any defect any root cause of the defect it tries to identify the root cause of any defect it tries to identify the root cause of any defect and finally it come uh, the next stage is improve what does it means so improve means optimize the current process optimize the current process improve the current process by depending upon the data analysis the data we have analyzed now we will use those analysis to improve our current process how using techniques such as design of experiments will will do some experimentation and will 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 mistake proofing will check will will check will check our uh, mistakes will 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 just recheck our work and will some do will do some standard work uh, to create a new process so it, it it sometimes done some mock work it sometimes do it sometimes do some pilot pilot work i mean the i mean some testing activities uh, testing process to check the process capability and then finally control control means we have uh, set something we have done something now we'll try that we have set we have established a process now we'll check that whether our process is being properly followed so control is the future state process to ensure that any deviations any deviations any variations any lackings any dispersions from the targets are corrected are corrected control means any variations are corrected before they results in defect so any variations should be should be what should be corrected should be removed should be eliminated why so that any defect doesn't arise so implement control systems such as statistical process control production board visual workplaces and continuously monitor the process the control process is repeated until the desired quality level is obtained so finally demake in short d for define define the customer needs measure measure 
the current existing process and collection of data analyze the data and set targets improve improve will be just uh, changing some process to to remove the defects and control is checking whether our improvement processes our our established process are being followed